In this video, we have to prove that derivative of sin x is equal to cos x. So first, we will discuss what is derivative or differentiation. So suppose we have x and y axis and this is a graph of any function. So at any point on x axis, x1, the value on y axis will be y1 and at point x2, the value will be some y2 and now if we try to find delta y by delta x, here delta y means change in y and delta x is change in x, then here we can draw a triangle and this length will be y2 minus y1 and this length will be x2 minus x1. So delta y will be y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 and if we join these two points, then if this angle is theta, then this angle also will be theta and y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 will be equal to tan theta and it is equal to if this point is a x1 y1 and this point is b x2 y2 then we can say that tan theta is slope of the line joining A and B and now if we move point B close to A here this is x and y axis and this is any graph y is equal to fx and this point is suppose A x comma y and b is very close to a. So here we have b that is x plus some dx and y plus some dy. And now if a and b are very close then delta y by delta x will become dy by dx and here dy is infinitesimally S1 change in y and similarly dx is infinitesimally S1 change in x. So it will be equal to y2 that is y plus dy minus y1 that is y by x2 is x plus dx minus x1 that is x and now if we join point a and b then the line will be tangent to the curve and if this angle is theta then it will be equal to tan theta where tan theta is tangent to the curve at point A or B because A and B are very close so they will be almost same point and now this dy by dx is also called differentiation or derivative of y with respect to x. So it is differentiation and now we have a curve y is equal to fx and coordinate of a is x y and coordinate of point b is x plus dx and y plus dy. So we can say that 
f of x is equal to y and f of x plus dx is equal to y plus dy and we get dy by dx is equal to y plus dy minus y by x plus dx minus x and now we can write this as dy by dx is equal to y plus dy is equal to f x plus dx it is f x plus dx minus y is fx by x plus dx minus x will be dx and now dx is very small so we can say that dx will tend to 0 or if we take dx is equal to h that tends to 0 so we can get dy by dx is equal to limit h tends to 0 and f x plus dx is equal to h minus f x by dx is h. So this is a very important result and now we have to prove that d by dx of sin x is equal to cos x and we know that for y is equal to fx dy by dx is equal to limit h tends to 0 fx plus h minus fx by h. So for y is equal to sin x dy by dx will be limit h tends to 0 sin x plus h minus sin x by h and now we can get limit h tends to 0 and sin a plus b will be sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. So here we get sin x cos h plus cos x sin h minus sin x by h or we can get limit h tends to 0 and if we take sin x common sin x then we get cos h minus 1 cos h minus 1 plus we have cos x sin h cos x sin h by h or we get limit h tends to 0 and here we get sin x cos h minus 1 by h plus cos x sin h by h and now we can distribute the limit to both the terms so we can get limit h tends to 0 sin x cos h minus 1 by h plus limit h tends to 0 cos x sin h by h and now since we have limit in h so we can take sin x out of the limit so we get sin x times limit h tends to 0 cos h minus 1 by h plus here we can take cos x outside times limit h tends to 0 sin h by h and limit cos h minus 1 by h is equal to 0 and limit sin h by h is equal to 1. So we get sin x into 0 is equal to 0 plus cos x into 1 will be cos x. So we can get d by dx of sin x is equal to cos x and it is our required proof.